So hello, Denise. What a pleasure to have you here today. Hi, Patrick. Lovely to be here with you today. Yes, because who would be a better person to talk about dancing than you? <laughs> yeah, that was a few years ago, but yeah, uh, uh, quite a few years of my life, you know, spent in a, in a dance company. Uh, I think about 28 years with National Dance Theatre. So, yes. yes. Yeah, so they're saying that dancing is, is in my, even though I retired <laughs> so many years ago it's still there in the blood you know but uh, <laughs> dancing has always been really a metaphor i think for life and how life can be you know that one my, my my dancing um the artistic director of, of ndtc the one of the, the founder um professor nettleford yes. you know he, was always good on those those um little you know little gems that you, you hold on to and you know we always spoke about you know doing a rehearsal right putting yourself out in the rehearsal so that the performance is nothing you know the performance is just the cherry on top you know that's the, your turn to your time to integrate or to communicate with the audience so that that for me was all about you know um don't worry about outcome work with that process and the outcome will take care of itself you know so that was always a, a really good lesson life lesson for me um as i said it came through the dance you know and there are so many many more of those lessons that you know i could share but let's let's chitter chat about what we want to chitter chat let's take it a little bit further so <laughs> as you said the dancing is more or less a metaphor how beautiful you're mentioning our beautiful mm -hmm. netherfall he was just so amazing i mean yes. jamaica has such amazing spirits like yourself and, and it's just so beautiful now to go into a dancing dialogue with you a philosopher a yeah. teacher an artist and may I say a very good friend of mine. And oh, I bless you. So close. When it I returned so to Jamaica in 2012, it was just amazing. So there's two things now emerging, new archetypes. In the mm -hmm. past, we were holding on to that positive, negative expression. We were caught in drama. And now these new archetypes, they're inviting us mm -hmm. to step out of that drama. Yeah. So it came so natural and fast, as always, with the two of us to talk yeah. today about and to dance with the games of life and what yes. they all mean to us. Yes, 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 yeah. And, and I mean, you know, we were saying, you know, before we started recording that, you know, life, you know, is it a game? Is it, is it really? And, and what, what makes it a game? And sometimes, you know, I, in my own ups, downs, sideways and whatever, I get myself, despite how I think I'm so bright, <laughs> I'm so intelligent, I get myself <laughs> caught up in, you know, in, in spaces where I'm thinking, no, you know better than this. What, why are you, you know, getting yourself in a twist? You know, you know that there is more. And you know that the, the, this this scenario is is your play. You you created this, so why don't you uncreate? You know, and so as we were saying, you know, at any given moment, I think each of us, at some level, know that we can choose to participate in whatever or not. We see that maybe. The, the, the game that we're playing is a game that possibly might be we're out of our depth. Like I'm playing tennis and I'm going to go play with um, Rafa Nadal. <laughs> you know, how, uh, how do I really win in that? So, so a choice there would be, do you really go forward in that game or do you withdraw or you retreat or you're saying well that's too much for me so you're choosing you're choosing what you want to engage with yes. and the players are, are players that that you have somehow at some level 
brought into your space and those players either set up that stumbling block, that obstacle, or they afford you some sort of help, assistance, a leg up, and, and, and so you go. You know, so, so I, as I said, I, I liken this whole thing to a game because I'm always interacting and moving and shifting and, you know, something comes up and I have a decision to make. Do I move to the left, move to the right, go through, you know, and, and so come back into that space where we, uh, you and I sit here today in a dance a dance that we are actively creating right now. We, we, it's a creation. Yes. And so we liken it to this thing that we have decided the terms, Patrick and Denise shall come together on a Wednesday at such and such a time, and we will engage. And we are here engaged in this game, this dance. That we may call life. That we do. And it is our life. It is our life because that we are spending the valuable currency of time with each other. It is our life. Hence, hence to me, to me, game of life. <laughs> and I, I love the metaphors just like you. And I feel it's so beautiful because a game is also playful. It is yes. not always serious about winning. Right. It can't just be a beautiful game. Yes. And maybe it's not just about the winning. And as we said, you know, in your rehearsals, it's not, it's not just about the outcome. It's about that engagement. It's mm -hmm. about being unique each time. And mm -hmm. going back to dance, it's not always the same performance. No. Yes. Never exactly do it the same way. And no game is so free coordinated and arranged that it can be the same so you're bringing your presence into this game and yes. you're allowing the unknown to unfold uh-huh the uh -huh. unwritten to be written yes heard to be heard mm -hmm. to the uncharted yeah what hasn't been mm -hmm. seen yet to open up Yes, 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 yes. I, 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 I hear that and I, I feel that, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's the playfulness, I feel, that counts. Yes, absolutely. You know, and it's interesting you say that, you know, about play, you know, that, and that's, that's a word that I have come to really respect and, 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 and take to heart so much so that when I'm teaching um individuals whatever in art i'm always saying and this is how we're going to play now you know I, I i want it to be play and play as we're playing our, our game we're playing a light with a light heart you know with 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 that childlike energy and that is something that i think that um that we, we you know play something that we reserve to as we say you know if you're going to play a sport you know, but play is, I am agreeing with you, should be an integral part of how you move through the world, you know, with that playfulness. Yes, that the child. playfulness, bringing that light spirit of the child, yes. not being yes. childish. No, <laughs> not being childish. <laughs> into the it's world. And, and of course, you're doing that so beautiful in your teaching. Of course, often I was present in the background when you were teaching Ceci and these wonderful people in, in, in being playful in expressing their art. Yes, and yes. I this is what you do. you inviting people to play. Yes. And I feel the emerging archetypes are very much about that, inviting people to play without the fear of winning or losing, right or wrong. And this is something I really love about you, Denise. You're never about right and wrong, but also never about I'm afraid, I have to judge that drama game. Yes, yes. A playful child before it learns the drama, actually doesn't have it. And the judgment, yes, exactly. And the judgment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And so I am really amazed how this can unfold when we really allow that game of life that is a beautiful game inviting us mm -hmm. to learn many new things. Yeah, yes. And there are and there's so many things in the unconscious, you know, um, and, and so so this is one of the, the things that I, I like people to understand or to, to, to appreciate. I, I would love for, for people to appreciate that space where you you create, you know, you, you create from that space. You know, it's it's like it's not like in your head. It's it's a space that if you go with the play, you go with the heart, yes, you do need your tools, your paintbrush, your your your, your pencils, book markers, whatever. But when you when you decide to make that mark on a paper or on a, a canvas, if you decide to just say, I'm letting go and I'm just allowing for spirits, the unconscious to just move me. At the end of that, you cannot believe the kind of trust in self that can 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 evolve, the kind of fun that can come out of that. You know, and that whole spirit of the play can come through, you know. And so when when individuals start feeling stuck or feeling, ah, oh, I can't, I can't, to just allow this moment, to allow yourself a moment of play, of relaxation through whether a drawing or a whistling a song or, you know, sitting in nature with um, the birds. We, we, we open up that unconscious space. It's such tr tremendous insight and so much potential for, for shifting and changing. Yeah. And what I'm really hearing, what you're saying here, this is so powerful and so profound. Mm -hmm. It is about allowing ourselves to connect to the unmanifest. Yes. Yes. To the unseen. And of course, we know that most people, most things do not really exist in form, but they're actually energy. Yes. And I feel also what I'm hearing from you is, is that that power to create, the creativeness. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's often asleep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. might be conditioned by labels and expectations yes we might as you said we might be stuck and fearful to let that power of creative being and and, and exploration come out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. this is of course what i love about you so much it's not just about being an artist when people come to you. It is about mm -hmm. allowing themselves oh. to create, yes. to enjoy that space, that spirit, that connectedness to that heart. And both mm -hmm. of us write heart no, yes. as a capital in the center. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and so we're allowing this magic to come out. And maybe this is the real game. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the question is, our games, are they limiting us? Or are we really making a choice? Mm -hmm. What it can be? Yes, yes. Well, you know, I, I think... I think that in general, we limit ourselves. In general, I, I, that, that's, that's just my perception and I could be completely wrong. I could only, maybe I could just be talking about myself only. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, or they say, you know, you teach what you need to learn. <laughs> yes. People say, <laughs> but, but I do believe that, that, it we limit we limit ourselves and we limit ourselves because of old programs. Yes. Those, those beautiful vital years of zero to, to five, you know. Um, I've been in education a while and I you know I, I'm a qualified 
teacher. So something that we looked at and, uh, you know, we know that little children at zero to five, even to seven, they, they pull things in so readily, so easily. And so they're pulling in everything around them. And, and, and then when you see them play, the expression in my world, I believe that they're bringing in um, things from that unconscious, so that, you know, that space of spirit, uh, the soul. And so I, I see them playing with confidence and with strong voices. But in that, those same years where they're so impressionable and they pull in so much, they also pull in the nose. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't, you shouldn't, you know? And so they're born like, like you know, some kids would want to climb up bars and the parents freak out, don't do that, you know, because the parents already are seeing some disaster where the child is completely open and, you know, I'm sure the child fall, he might just bounce, you know, because he's just no, no consciousness of if I fall, I'll go splat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so so what happens is that in those same years, you know, of that wonderful free spirit, we're also taking the nose. We're taking those nose and the nose continue, you know, and then the, 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 the teenager, the judgment co comes in, you know, and, 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 and you need to do what the rest of the group is doing. And the group is very strict in terms of their, you know, and we know the story and it goes on and it builds and it becomes a cellular imprint. It has been a cellular imprint. I mean, may, may I even dare say, you know, some of the imprints um, could be in utero, you know, while the child is in the mother's uterus, you know, the mother is feeling and thinking and being a certain way and so that that unfiltered being pulls that as well you know so i i do believe by conditioning we grow with limitation yes you know and so it takes i mean happily you know uh, you know once you start a certain journey you know i get to meet people like yourself and say see Yes, and yeah, we start now recognizing how we have to, you know, remove the old program or override them, you know, and, and so so that becomes a little bit of an effort. And sometimes I'm even saying to myself, but should it be an effort? Isn't it, isn't it enough that I'm aware that I'm on a program, that, that I was programmed? Isn't it enough that now that I'm aware that I was programmed, that I should just let it go. But in that program is the fear program. <laughs> so, you, oh. In that, that is embedded as well. Yes. And, yes. and the judgment one. And so it so becomes difficult yes. to, to untangle. And I mean, that, that's why I believe in the power of the, the you know, your exercising or practicing your creativity, yes. you know, in, in whatever way, whatever way. I mean, I like, I like to make art and paintings and whatever, but you know, other people can do. But practicing that because that again to just to reiterate that that connects you back to that authentic soul self. Providing you don't try to say, well, I want to paint like Da Vinci or I want to paint just like whoever, you know, that know that your your authentic creative voice is like your thumbprint, you know, it's unique to you and, and it is valid and it is perfect as it is. And the only person who's saying no to it might be you. <laughs> I just love how you <laughs> that back into your wealth of, of, of own experience in education and, and the, the evidence that goes with it, not just what you have been reading, but something that you have experienced with the children. And of course, I was blessed on my way, although I wasn't trained in being a teacher per se, but I ended up teaching in international schools and, and I was very blessed again to be with children and recognizing these things and being recognized as a teacher who would maintain the free spirit with uh -huh. the, the teachings that came and I would always be able to say well this is how they see it but if you have another one 
Tell me. Maybe in the exam, you better put what we are supposed to tell you here. <laughs> but maybe this is not the only thing. And, and you know what happened? My, one of my principals, he said to me, I've heard that teachers are born and not educated. And I'm very happy that I meet a born teacher. Born teacher. So <laughs> I can go with what you're saying. When are we limiting people? But these are conditions... And maybe our soul has chosen this in that human experience. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. And maybe we come to a point where we can say, oh, I, I'm grateful for that in a way, because how would I free myself? How would I be able to express myself through art, metaphorically, because we are talking about metaphors, if I wouldn't have gone through that? Mm -hmm. And of course, you and I are also in the same idea that we've chosen this life. We're chosen to be here right now. Yes. And it's yes. a practice and a, a process. It's a journey that we are on. Yes. The immediate awareness gives you, ah, but then it really begins. <laughs> yes. It, it's yes. not the end, it is the beginning. This is maybe when you say, oh, I actually have an empty canvas here. Yes, yes. What am I going to do with it? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And so I really feel we're living in this amazing time where heart, and we are putting the A in capital again, is really a key to live. Mm -hmm. It's a walking meditation or walking ah, lovely yes walking love that on that field and dance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and maybe we're also learning to be different so if all people draw like da vinci which they are mm -hmm. not but if all people try to do the same maybe now is a good time to be the weirdo to be the <laughs> one who is strange Yes, 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 yes. And I feel both of us are in that. And I yeah. want to add one more thing. I did study education later in the tertiary mm -hmm. field, as mm -hmm. you were aware. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what fascinated me most goes back into pedagogy in the childhood, and that was Paulo Freire. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if you're familiar with the Brazilian educator. No, tell me. And he was really starting education to give the people who couldn't read and write an opportunity to vote. He was oh. very, very radical, but he developed ways for people to read and write very fast. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But there was much more about him. He wrote a book, The Pedagogy of the Heart. Oh, oh, it was really about awakening the uniqueness in people by giving them the tools to do that. Yes, like yes, and right. very, yes, very, and very important. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that I feel tools. you do that with the tools of a of a brush and some mm -hmm. techniques that mm -hmm. unlock that creativeness that we spoke about a while ago in them, in the people yes. that come to you. Yes. Yeah. I do the same in a way, but not through art because I can't yes. like you. Yeah. I didn't yeah. study all yeah. the techniques. <laughs> but, 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 you are, but you are doing what you love to do and that's, and that's what's important. Exactly. Yes. And yes. I feel it is just so beautiful that we can come into that dance today. Yes, 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 yes. And I love to do much more of this. We don't want to overload people today. Yes. I, I got oh, a good impression of Denise and Patrick in Dancing Dialogue. Yes. <laughs> and I want to say, it, I'm just amazed, Denise, how close we are, how beautifully we flow, that, that, connection spirit connection that you and i share yes take out of one word mm -hmm, mm -hmm. such a beautiful dialogue yes yes thank you so much patrick i i i endorse and i and i agree completely you know to, you know to to find your a member of your tribe you know somebody someone you can 
completely resonate with that you can speak a certain way and you know they understand and they can help you to understand even what you think you're understanding but maybe not so much you know um you are that person for me you know to yes. to help help me to broaden and 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 build my own vision of what I can be and what others can be and you have not only done that for me but you know my son Kitwana you know yes and by the way he says hey <laughs> wonderful i am sure we have a chance to talk with him soon too. yes yes so well, yes. thank you so much beautiful and we need to do this again and we hope yeah. that it reaches people's heart absolutely you know because that, that is that is that is our ultimate the exactly. connect the connect heart to heart and have that courage to step on that field of your game even if you play it differently mm -hmm. even if you step off the field mm -hmm. even if you step up oh. <laughs> <laughs> or, or step back or yeah. out of the drama and the conditioning that has limited your play mm -hmm. Yes, yes. This is my message for today to the people out there, but also to the both, both of us. Yes. Thank you so much. Denise, you know how much I love you. And love you back, Patrick. Love you back. Yes, I love to Cess. And love to Cess and lots of love from Cess. And we catch up soon because I love doing this with you. I And I you. Thank you so much. Thank Bless you so much. Blessings. Thanks.